Hey guys, Lex here, back for some more Nino Kuni. Last time, went to Skull Mountain, met the Sky Pirates, went back to Motorville, and now I gotta look for some. Uh, some sort of courage. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> so yeah, let's go. Ding Dong Dell first. Let me check out Swift Solutions real quick. There's some fun new quests. No new quests. Okay. Uh. Oh, there's a new bounty though. Pure steel armor and a cappuccino. Oh, so. I already did this. And this one's coming up. Fire giant. A huge hot timber monster has appeared in the foothills of Old Smoky. Take it down. Uh, we'll do that if. Rustle. Uh, Western Summerlands? Where else is that? Uh, people with more troubles than they can allow. Oh, I forgot to claim it. Well, six stamps? Damn. Get a room reward. Three? Yeah. Mm, I don't care about that. Yeah, let's get this. I think this is the airship we'll get. Alright, I'm dumb. If you open the map like perfectly, that yellow that gold star <laughs> is covering the green the green dot. So that's what I need. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. So I cut all of that out. <laughs> yep, there it is. All right, boy, I'm on. Look at your locket, will ya? It's glowing like nobody's business. I'm sure it wasn't doing that before. Oh, it's Kublai? Well, I guess he does have a lot of confidence. You can speak my name, boy. Why? Then I'll take it. You've got a cure for my dragon. Uh, not just yet, sir. Sorry. Haha, <laughs> sorry are you. Well, don't be. At least you're trying, which is more than I could say for the rest of my scurvy crew. Uh, actually, Captain Kulai, sir, we were wondering if he could ask you for a favor. Out with it then, boy. I don't care much for meekness. Well, there's somebody who's had a piece of their heart stolen, and we're wondering if we could use a piece of your heart to help them. That's right. After all, not many have got as much confidence as you, Mon. I don't care much for flattery either, fairy. What would you have me do? You don't have to do anything. Just stand there while Ollie Boy waves his wand and it'll be over before you know it. Very well, do your worst. A cart. Um, no, I can't believe I wasted so much. <laughs> I wasted like eight minutes. Uh, the heaven sent strength to believe in oneself. You have things of confidence. Ah, uh, what have you done to me, boy? What is this feeling? It is... it is not bad. Jeepers, that sure is a big hunk of confidence. You're not wrong, Ollie boy. That locket of yours is fit to burst. Now let's head over to Motorville and mend that Denny lad's broken heart, shall we? Sure thing, Mr. Drippy. Thanks a lot, Captain Kublai, sir. It was nothing, boy. You could have taken more for all I cared. Oh, before you part, take these. I found them in a pile of plunder. They mean nothing to me, but I dare say they might sit well in that magic book of yours. A quake. Ooh. Peak fortune. Map. Mark your map with location of ship. Ooh. Hey, there are pages from Lizard's Companion with new spells for me to try. Thanks, Captain Kublai. To pirate face right. Time to get moving, Ollie Boy. Motorville, here we come. Alright, let's check out those spells. I, I should have paid attention to the shape. Quake. Cause the ground to tremble and bring enemies to their knees. This spell causes the earth itself to shake, raising both enemies and buildings to the ground. Much like thunderstorm and cloudburst, each quake is in fact natural blessing, and it's necessary to give thanks when drawing the rune. Note that foolish wizards who take a tumble as a result of their own quake are roundly mocked within the magical community, so do take care. Idiots. 
seek fortune. Mark your map with locations of hidden treasure. This spell makes it easy for wizards to locate treasure in the vast expanses that lie outside a city's walls. Used in conjunction with chart chests, it ensures that no treasure chest remains hidden for long. Though it is an extremely useful spell, those who reap its benefits are urged to use their newfound riches wisely. Uh, let's try it. Seek fortune. Oh. <laughs> okay. Guess we go, uh, gateway. I'm gonna try... Chest, chest. Oh, I'm looking for chest here, so let's see. If that works. Seek fortune and try chest. Nope. Alright, let's go... Right, oh, Ollie boy, time to hand over that confidence. Give heart. Here we go. Huh? What? What are you doing? Myrtle? Danny! I can feel it! The pain in this heart! It's disappearing! Ruff, ruff. Hey boy, you're here too? I'm sorry. I caused everybody so much trouble. It's not your fault, you are uh... My, my heart, it feels so light. Like the weight has been lifted. You did this, didn't you? He did, he did the same for me, Denny. Oliver knows how to use magic spells. <laughs> I'd be surprised hearing that from anyone but you, Myrtle. Wait, no, why uh... Eh, <laughs> don't worry Oliver. He doesn't actually believe her. Ah, uh, rough. You're right, Genghis. You need to get back in training. But, but Daddy, your leg. Are you sure you should? Ha, <laughs> that, I'm just, it's just a scratch. I can't sit around feeling sorry for myself because of that. The longer I sit around, the faster the others get. Can't let them beat me. I have to make the cut next time. True. <laughs> That's that, Daddy, I know. Good luck. Ah, thanks, but I won't need it. Come on, boy, it's training time. I can feel myself getting slower by the second. Ruff! Yeah, run through that fence. <laughs> Crikey, he doesn't look too slow to me. <laughs> he looks like he's forgotten all about his injury. That's the power of the heart. You did it again, Oliver. Thank you so much. It wasn't me, Myrtle. It was Danny. His heart was strong enough to make it. I just gave it a helping hand. You really are a hero, aren't you? Maybe even a handsome prince? <laughs> what? Well, cut it out, Myrtle! Hey, I sure hope Denny makes the state champions, don't you? <laughs> yeah, of course I do. <laughs> it won't be easy, but something tells me he'll make it. Oh, he will. Especially now that we've helped him on the way. Oh no, I have to get back to the store! <laughs> huh? What's wrong, Myrtle? I was in the middle of opening up. Miss Layla will be so mad. You are working? Jeepers, you need to get back there. I got lost and it took forever. <laughs> so she's just as easily distracted as someone else I could mention. Oh yes? And who might that be? Uh, Alright, so well, let's get the hell out of here. Myrtle looked like she was in the right old Pochmon. Better go make sure she's alright, ain't it? Really? That's not important. What's this? Oh? Sorry, Miss Layla. I didn't mean to leave the store like that. Myrtle, dear. Where have you been? I was worried about you. Look, it's Esther and the other one. Hehe. <laughs> Who might you be, sweetie? This little lady's been around an awful lot lately. Eh, what little lady? There you are. Hello, Oliver. I'm looking for you. P. P, she's here somewhere? <laughs> is she a friend of yours, Oliver? Then I'll leave you two and get back to work. See you soon. Well, looks like you found who you were looking for. Dearie, I'll leave her with you with Oliver, shall I? Thanks, Miss Layla. Have a nice day. Oliver, I have to tell you something. Sorry, P, what is it? Eh, who's he saying sorry to? Oliver, the slithery one and the doggy one and the bony one, they're coming. They're keepers. You have to be careful. I don't understand, P. Yes, you do. Just be careful. No, I don't. Okay, P, I'll try. Uh, what? Who are you just talking to? 
Oh, gee. Huh? Oh, gee, I'm sorry. You don't know about P yet, do you, Swain? She's a funny little girl I know. I've seen her here in Motorville sometimes. I've seen her here in my dreams, too. But we can't see her. No, I still- Oh! <laughs> She's gone! She always does this. Wrong! Did she disappear again? Huh? And I didn't understand what she was trying to tell me. Uh, I think I get it. Get what, Trippy? Well, Myrtle and that lot can't see us lot from our world, right? So that means P probably can't see us lot either, innit? It? It's the same, but the other way around, you mean? That's right. It's not so weird when you think about it, eh? Us not being able to see someone from another world? Uh, it's not. Eh, who cares? As long as you can see her, eh, Oliver? Yeah, I'm more worried about going and seeing how Tengri's doing, if your guess was right, Oliver. Ain't it, though? We've sorted Denny out, so Tengri should be able to fly again. Tidy! You're right, let's go check on Tengri. Alright, finally. Let's get out of here. I could probably end the last episode with this. <laughs> but, oh well. Faster. Hmm? Are we gonna get an airship? That's gonna be so cool. This thing is awesome. Hi there, Captain Kublai. Uh, do you know what Tengri is? Grrrr. <laughs> Come at a good time, boy. You see. That sound. <laughs> Behold, he's a sight for sore eyes, and no mistake. He stopped sniveling and took to the skies again not long after you left. Like magic it was. Wait, you meddling dogs did something while my back was turned, didn't you? Well, it's a little hard to explain, but we went to another world and Oliver helped the Tengri there get better. All you need to know is that Oliver's magic is the reason that Tengri is finally flying again. <laughs> Still spouting nonsense, I see. But no matter, you did as you said you would. I'll no, I'll not question your methods. <laughs> I had no idea the real Tengri was so lively. That's how Dragon should be. Heh. <laughs> Seems like he's taken a client liking to you. And after all my hard work. Gah, so be it. I know and I'm beaten. He's yours. You're his master now, lad. You and he both know it's already. Uh, where are you? What about... What's the matter, Worm? Not good enough for you? N no, sir. Thank you very much, Captain Kublai, sir. <laughs> That's settled then. Tengri, lad, say hello to your new master. Kya! Kya! <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you too, Tengri. Likewise, I'm sure. Alright, let's go find some magic stones. That southward course, lad. You'll find you'll happen upon Solitary Isle soon enough. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> We're flying! Oh, tiny! We're actually flying! <laughs> it's nice and comfy up here. Come on, Tangri, let's fly! Away we, we go! <laughs> I thought Trippy was on the tail. <laughs> that was uh, rings on his tail for some reason. Fly the friendlier skies. Holy shit. Head for the island. Oh. Flippin' Nora! Is this high enough for you, other boy? Right, oh. Since the smallest mistake up here will result in certain death. I reckon now's a good time to give you Captain Trippy's don't crash course and track it fly. Don't worry, Mon. If you survive the first five minutes, there's nothing to it. You just change directions with L and use R to have a good look around in it. Oh, and when you want to plonk your feet back on solid ground, press A. You'll see a circle appear. L to shift the circle to where you want it, then press A to land on that spot. If you change your mind and want to carry on flying, press B. Just be sure to watch the color of the circle. If it's blue, you're all right to land. If it's red, you'll have to find somewhere else. Once you've had enough to being back on the boring old ground, honk on that dragon horn 
pirate face gave you, and Tengri will come flapping. Press up and you'll give a, a good old parp. But enough with my yabbering, let's enjoy a dragon's eye view of the world in. You obtained the dragon's horn. Damn. Holy shit. Wait. Wait, can I... Oh. I can't actually... Raise. Go up and down. It's based on the elevation, it looks like. This is way better than the ship. I can't see the monsters though. Well, that's cool. Oh, I can't see monsters. Oh, <laughs> it's funny. So the monsters don't spawn until I land. That's annoying. <laughs> what if I want to catch a monster before heading up? Zero spawns here. No. <laughs> or there. Can I reach that? Yes, I can. Now I could try to catch it. Let's go. I guess I can't catch that yet. Uh, <laughs> let's go. I'm gonna go to the deep dark wood. I'm gonna talk to old father. Oak. Not. I'm just going here to heal. And nothing. Teleport to Hamlin. I wanna try finding those jades. I think I need three jades. Two or three jades. Be an island here for this mini quest. Actually, I don't even know what jades come from, so I'll I'll do the I'll just work on the quest and then do side questing stuff later. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Crikey, look at this monument by here. Well, this didn't make it here by accident. Must have something to do with the stones. Hey, look, something's written on it. Uh-huh, oh, thank you. Okay, the secret to the map imparts. Shit, yeah, there's more. Lies not without, but in its heart. The secret that the map imparts lies not without but in its heart. What's with this funny writing? Naskan, and it's 
Paolo tells us where them stones are hidden. And all shall I decode it for you, Ollie boy. Yes, please, Mr. Tricky. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I just decoded it myself. Uh, right, oh, guess just a sec. Ahem, it says the secret that the map imparts lies not without, but in its heart. <laughs> exactly what I got. And that means what exactly? Means if I'm not very much, much mistaken, the stones ain't on this island. <laughs> what? You heard me. The secrets of where they're hidden lies not without. It said meaning not on the surface of the map for all to see. And I reckon that bit about it being in its heart means the real locations of the stones are looking somewhere inside the flipping thing. So, uh, how do we uh, get them out? Well, I don't flip it now, do I? Calm down, Trippy. It's not as if we even have the map at the moment. Looks like we better go and talk to old Kublai again. Giddy up, Tangri. Uh, or I could just travel there. <laughs> Probably wasted so much time on... I don't even know. <laughs> just reading that. Maybe a shorter episode, I don't know. <laughs> Depending on how much I have to cut, I lost track of how much time I have cut. Alright, uh, Kublai. Haha, <laughs> tell me, boy, did you find those magic stones? Well, uh, not exactly. We did find a big old monument, though it was. The point is, Mr. King of Pirates, is that there were no stones there. A single one. I reckon you better give us another look at that map of yours. Hmm, curious. And you search thoroughly? Thoroughly? Were you trying to save the world, Mon? Of course we searched flipping thoroughly. No, we didn't even look. Hmm, it was definitely the right island. Here, Ali boy, give the Neskin from the monument thingy another read. They'll tell you the secret, I bet. The secret that the map imparts lies not without, but in its heart. What could that mean? Well, the heart is off. It always has something to do with your magic, right? We should cast Take Heart on it or something. Yeah, cast it on the map. And what would we do with that when we got from it? If we got anything, that is. But it could be something to do with magic, right? Yeah, that tends to be the case where you're involved. Put a good deal of faith in this boy's wizarding. Does he know many spells? Do I ever? Oh, lots and lots. People just keep giving them to them. Idiots. You're not wrong, Esther. We've got a tidy pile of spells now, in it. I reckon we must have something that'll work. It's secret that the map imparts lies not without, but in its heart. Does any of your spells spring to mind, Oliver? Gee, one or two, maybe. Well, there's only one way to find out. Uh, take heart. Give heart. A chart chest. Seek chests. Breach time! Mm. Oh, there you go. Spring lock, travel, levitate, chart chest, magic lamp, nature's top, quick and growth, vacate, oh, seek fortune, rejuvenate, breach time, ward, secret ingredient, bridge, spirit medium, puppet string, inside. Oh! Tidy, we've hit the flipping jackpot. So there were hidden separately. I had my suspicions. There are three stones after all. To hide them all in one place seems stupid. Hang on, I'm not sure I understand. What made all the marks appear on the map? It was the spell I used. Insight, it shows you the memories of people who once owned an option. Oh. I get it. It showed you the places that the person who made the map wanted to keep secret. Yeah, the memories just came rushing into my mind all at once, and there was a message too. What well, was it? Spit out, man. Uh, let me see. The wand is the weapon of the heart. The stones were merely reflected surface. True power lies in the depths. That's all it said. What the heck's that supposed to mean when it's at home? Hmm, I wonder, I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Let's think about it while we look for the stones, shall we? Fair enough. 
here, pirate face. We'll give you... Will you give us a lend of the map? It'll be right faff coming back here all the time to check it. Stones are your concern. I have no need of the map. Take it. It will free up more space for good, honest plunder. You obtained the map of the stones. Yeah. Thank you very much, Captain. We'll go see what we can find at the three places marked on the map. It looks like we'll be spending plenty of time up in the clouds with Tengri. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, we'll be keeping him busy all right. Tidy, it's time to get to the next chapter in the adventures of the intrepid wizard Ollie Boy. Search of the magic stones. Yeah. And, oh. Now we got new quests. I'm gonna start doing side quests now. This guy first. Last, it's no good. Something wrong? Mm -hmm. We'll see. I was carrying out a few checks on the engines, and I happened to across a part that needs replacing. But I have no spurs to hand. Gee, hey, but doesn't that mean how's the iron rear and flying with a broken engine? I've jury rigged the solution for now, but she'll not last long. She could be in for a bumpy ride. Cheapers creepers, you mean it could? Plunge to the ground in a ball of fiery disaster. Lay there, you adult patty for words. Oh, patched her up and well enough to keep her afloat till now, and I'll keep her aloft a while longer yet. There's reassuring. Still, there is a patch up I can't be sure of. Just engine, after all. Aye, the engines are the heart of the old beast, and here I am, too busy to go in search of fresh parts. Or, if oh, there were some mechanical-minded soul, would repair this here broken booster for me. Somebody with m mechanical things? Yeah, I'm just a person. I bet Rusty back in Motorville can fix it up. Rusty, oh yeah, Myrtle's dad, you mean. Truly, you know someone that I beg you. Ask this Rusty fellow if he could take a look at the broken booster. The mechanics lament. Triple Soul Booster has a mechanic in Skull Mountain at his wit's end. Holy shit, we have to go back to real world? Thank you. Kindly, if you fix it, I'll be forever in your debt, lad. And better yet, the old girl might not fall out of the sky. Tidy, get over to Motorville, shall we? Sure, let's go! Holy shit. <laughs> let's do it. That's cool. But won't he charge us money? I'm really gonna talk to these guys. Aw, oh, man. Let me talk. Nature's tongue. Master is the greatest. Grrrr. Hey there, Oliver. My leg's all better now. That's it. No, uh, loot. Right. Rusty, fix this. Oh. Hello, Mr. Cartwright. Well, if it isn't young Oliver, what can I do for you, son? Well, uh... I'd kinda need your help, sir. Do you think you could fix this? Well, now, let me see. My, it's pretty worn down, whatever it is. What's it from? Uh, gee, it's kinda... You'd rather not tell me, huh? Are you and Phil up to your tricks again? I'll bet you are. So, uh, could you fix it? Sure, I'll give it a shot. You will? One condition. That you promise me you won't do anything dangerous like last time, deal? Yes, sir, I promise. <laughs> this is for an airship <laughs> instead of a car. <laughs> I think that ought to do it. Play safe now, you hear? Brand new booster? Ah, couldn't I just use magic to repair it? The repairo? Uh, okay. Please, teleport me back to where I was. It's mended. Arr, thank the skies. Now I could bring me beloved engines back to full steam. Vito, and we won't have to worry about dying we runs falling out of the sky anymore. Haha, <laughs> that you won't lad. Here, a little booty for your trouble. Oh, that's weird, sir. Stout armor, damn. Earn complete. The mechanics limit. Trouble broken booster as mechanic and skull mountain is puts in. What's a bonus? Found it at the bottom of the pile of plunder. Looks like a recipe of some such. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll become you more used to a wizard such as yourself than it will to me. New formula? 
Oh man, that's a lot of some stuff. Let's go, Coltrane. Is there a new Jumbo Star Drop? Oh, nice. That's what I need. Uh, but where the hell do you get the moon crystals from? Okay, let's do this quest. Where is it? Where can that cursed thing have gone? Have you lost something? That I have, and not just anything. I've lost me lucky charm. Your lucky charm? I lied. We sky pirates won't so much as look at the clouds without clouds to bloom to protect us. They keep the wind beneath our wings and the song of the skies in our hearts. Gee, it sounds like they're really important to you. That they are, lad. That they are. And without mine, I feel naked as a babe. Uh, say now, you wouldn't consider finding me a new gust bloom, would you? Sky Pirate's charm. Sky Pirate in Skull Mountain is in a terrible state after losing his lucky charm. Okay, let's go. Well, I'm in your jet lad. I will not forget it. The spoons can be plundered from beasts known as beachheads. They prowl the seas around these parts. Aye, aye, sir. Leave it to us, Mr. Sky Pirate. I'm counting on you, laddie. I'll do that next time. It's gonna be a... Probably gonna be a... I quest focused next episode. So yeah, I'm going to deep dark wood. Talk to old tree face. Hello, old father oak. Oh ho, here you are again. How very nice to see you. And how goes your journey, hmm? Tell me about it. So you seek the three stones. Yes, we heard they were spread all over the world. Hear me. That must make things rather difficult for you, having to trudge from place to place and look for them. RJ, are you having a laugh? We're traveling in style, Mon. It's a dragon back or nothing for us these days. Uh-huh. We made friends with a dragon. He can fly anywhere, and his name is Tangri. Oh, -ho, you are fortunate indeed. I myself have never been lucky enough to take to the skies. We'll have to drift to you next time we're flying over the deep dark... I thought I was going to say, we'll take you. <laughs> oh, ho, I shall look forward to it. Thank you for sharing such an exciting tale. Let me give you a little something in return. Green Man's Cloak. Thank you very much, old father oak. I'm going to change my equipment until after I get some more stuff. Should have looked at the map. I haven't even looked at it yet. So one's in the icy area, one's in the ocean, and one is in that that cave that I was looking at earlier. Alright, let's travel to Ding Dong Dill and uh, stop by the Swift Solutions at least. Oh, new heart to steal. Always a pot here. Welcome, young man. Would you like some delicious fruit? And what about some lovely vegetables? Mmm, our produce is the finest there is. Oh boy, it looks all so tasty. Doesn't it just? Hmm. And all picked fresh this morning. I won't say it doesn't look all look good like, but it's a bit on the pricey side, ain't it? Of course, this isn't just any old shop, you know. Take pride in our produce. You won't find taste here anywhere in the whole world. Tasties in the whole world. Boy, I sure would love to try some. Hey, look, your luck the locket's glowing. I'm not surprised you don't come across confidence like that every day. Uh, I guess you don't, huh? Um, excuse me, ma'am. Do you think you could help me? Certainly, dear. What will it be? Some nice apples, perhaps? A turnip or two? Oh, no, I meant, uh, you don't want any of our delicious produce? Then what is it, hmm? Well, if it's alright with you, Bab, I'd like to use your confidence to help people who don't have enough of their own. Oh, is that all? Of course, dear. Take as much as you want. Really? Thank you very much. Alright. First confidence stolen. 
Have its own strength to believe in oneself. Gains little confidence. You really think you could use it to help people? Whatever will they think of next? Alright, let's check up here. And that kid. You know what? Let's try. Seek fortune. Doesn't work here. Oops. Alright, let's check uh, Swift Solutions. See how many quests we get. Ooh, a lot more. Uh, postponed, okay. Grimalkin girl from Ding Dong Dell has suddenly started treating her friends very cruelly. Ask Grimalkin what's wrong, okay. Grimalkin and Ding Dong Dell also anxious. Mamuni artist, low spirits. Uh, despite his best efforts, comedian in Tahiti. Amlin researcher. No faith. Uh, bring him. Okay, Gus Plume. Working on that already. And yeah, the Brawl Spear. Not that many new quests. Welcome to Swiss Solutions. Uh, okay. Plus speed boost, now we need that. And I need to do a lot more quests. How about bounty hunts? Oh, new ones. Automata, Billy Goat's Gruff. Strange light is reported shining near Perdita every morning. It can only mean there's a monster nearby. Mystic robes. Stout armor. I already have that. Oh. The Baron Summerlands? Oh. And on Swan Island, north of Summerlands. Ooh, that's a lot. These are a lot. Okay, these two will give a one medal, they should give me the last medal. So if I focus on the little bounty hunts... Yeah, I'll just go get the Ding Dong Dell quests. Oh, here's the Grimmel kid. Oh no, it begins so soon, what shall I do? I can't face it. Say something wrong? You seem sorta of worried. Oh, I am, I am. The great Tugga Tail Tournament begins soon. That's a bad thing, is it? We'll have to participate, you see. And everyone expects me to do well, but I just know I'll be terrible. I'll put in a paw performance and everyone will laugh. Well, if you're that worried about it, can't you just make your excuses and pull out? Mew, no, I can't. I won last year by a whisker, and you see, and the champion has to enter. Oh, huh? you're a champion? Then how come you're scared to take part? I know why, Ali boy. It's because a certain nasty piece of work has stolen our poor friend's confidence in it. He'll never win in a state like this. Pitiful it is. What shall I do? A, tra a tale of woe, a ding-dong dell grimalkin has lost his confidence in his tuggo tail ability and is going to pull out a forthcoming tournament. Uh, restores confidence. Heidi, that's the spirit, Ollie boy. Now let's bag us a locket full of confidence. Right, give confidence. Have confidence. That's one. Me who? Oh, hi. What am I doing here? I should be practicing for the Great Tugatail Tournament. Nito, you got your confidence back. Good luck in the tournament. We'll be cheering for you. I have you to thank for this, do I? I am in your debt. Here, a little present to say thank you. Three breeze cakes. Nice. Elvo. Ding Dong Del Grimokin has lost confidence in his Tugatail ability and is going to pull out of the forthcoming tournament. Okay. Oh, uh, you travel with familiars, I see. Try feeding them this, they'll lap it up. And they may even grow to be as strong as me, a perfect warrior. Ah, uh, new formula. Let's take a look. That's the wrong thing. Does it give... Jumbo Star Drop. Oh, I'm getting all the Star Drops. I should just go to the last tab. 
anyone else? Okay, that other, the little girl. The cat girl again? Yeah, I'll go away. I can walk to school on my own. What's wrong? Why don't we walk together like normal? Are you being annoying on purpose? Just shut up and go away. Hey, that's no way to talk to your friend. Yo, yeah, what's it got to do with you? You both learned to stop sticking your noses in where they're not wanted. Hey, don't talk like that. Wouldn't it be fun to walk to school with your friend? I'd have more fun changing my litter tray. <laughs> Go away! Not again. Ah, she is, though. Yeah, broken hearted, I mean. This time it's kindness she's lacking. Reckon you've guessed that already, though. Uh, you'll save the day again, won't you, boy? With friends like these, a criminal clean girl from Ding Dong Dill is unable to show her friends the, the merest stint of kindness. Restore her kindness. If it goes on upsetting like this, she won't have any friends left. We have to do something. Oh, I don't have any kindness on me. Do I have time? Yes, I do. Next. Alma Moon. Ooh, that's a lot. Let's go here. Let's get the quest first. Or not the quest, I mean the heart first. This will be my basic next big seller, I am sure of it. Yes, I must stock up on these. Whatever you do mean, husband. Will you not remember the last time? I will not be left with box upon box of unsold items again. Come now, you two, let's not wash our dirty laundry in public, shall we? Mr. Trippy, stop that. No boy, your little friend is right. We must not pick her here so we not pick her so here in the street. It is my foolish husband's fault. Uh, no ma'am, please, it's uh, okay. What's with the problem anyway? My right, dear husband is forever purchasing enormous quantities of so-called nuts, big hitter sellers. And each time he does so, the cursed trinkets fail to sell even, even the smallest numbers. Do not fret, wife. This time we will make our fortune. I am sure of it. Did you not say the same thing last time? And the time before that, you will travel to the poor house, you old fool. No, my darling, no. This time, I have found it. I am certain. I have complete confidence in the most excellent product. Ah! I only knew that you kept this unshakable confidence of yours. Perhaps I could shake it out of you. Confidence, huh? Hey, Mr. Trippy, we could use some of that. Indeed we could, my lad. Ah. Uh, Excuse me, could we maybe borrow a little of your confidence? Hmm, borrow my confidence, whatever you mean. Well, uh, we could maybe help you stop taking such big risks with your big sellers. Uh, I thought even the ancients had the power to perform such miracles, but you are welcome to try. Thank you, you can hold still for a moment. Yoink. If it says strength to believe it in oneself, it takes a confidence. <laughs> oh my. What is a strange sensation? I feel calmer, more prudent. I have caused my dear wife such worry. Perhaps I should think a little more before sticking up on this particular item. Am I really hearing those words coming from your mouth, husband? This is thanks to you, is it not, boy? Truly, you are a worker of miracles. Oh wait, that wasn't even a quest. <laughs> it's, it felt like it. Okay, let's go to the, the inn. Let's make this a long questing episode. <laughs> oh no, Khan the artist. Ah, it's this wrong. It is all wrong. The picture is such a disgrace. I have no talent. What's wrong? Oh, it's you. Uh, I have lost faith in my ability as an artist. You have said it. What are you on about, man? This picture is an absolute banger. <laughs> what are you not proud of? This stop. It is scribble, a travesty, a monstrosity, I can't even look at it. <laughs> yeah, same. Looks pretty good to me. Why don't you let, let your customers decide? How can I, when it is so plainly apparent that I lack even the smallest grain of talent? It is time I put away my brushes for good. Ah, uh, so that's it, is it? I see, I see. He's broken hearted, ain't it, only boy? Lost his confidence, yes. 
artist block. An artist from Alma Moon is suffering a crisis of confidence and is seriously considering a trading in his brushes. Give him his confidence. Alright, let's help him. Tidy, all you need to do is bring some confidence and Bob's your uncle. Alright, here you go. By the ancients, why was I gripped so with doubt? With fear that I was not the artist I always believed myself to be. So, uh, you don't think you're talentless anymore? I most certainly do not. And it is all thanks to you, give up painting, ha, to think I even considered it. This scant reward for granting me the strength to take up the brush once more, but please, you must accept it. Phoenix here. Well, what does that do? Artist block, uh, this is from an artist from Alamo suffering a crisis of confidence and seriously considering trading in his business. Alright. Alright, let's go. And yeah, let's... Let's see Hamlin. Maybe we'll finally get courage. Go to Swift Solutions. See. Oh, this guy. Let me see, what book shall I devour today? Gee, these books lo sure look difficult. Are you going to read them all? Of course, I plan to pour over the tomes on physics, engineering, the calm wonders of steam, and magic, of course. Boy, you sure do study with a full lot. <laughs> I've yet to even scratch the surface. There's so much st still to learn, after all. I plan to become Hamlin's preeminent scientist. Crikey, that's a big talk for a little piglet. Hang on, Ollie boy, this locket's lit up. You're right, Mr. Trippy. It looks like this boy has hearts full of confidence. I don't suppose I can ask you to share some of your confidence with us. Share my confidence? Well, as long as it doesn't interfere with my studies, I don't see why not. All you have to do is hold still for a second. Well, that doesn't sound too hard. Is this still enough for you? That's perfect. Okay, here it goes. All right, let's take it. Heaven sent strength to believe in oneself. This is confidence. It's amazing. Was that magic? This has been the most educational experience. Thank you. Cool. Let's see. Uh, Tahiti. What? I don't have courage still. Faith, right? Uh, do I have faith? What is this restraint? Oh, I don't have res that's restraint. This yeah, quest here can't do. So let me just travel to Hamlin. Well, let's just double check. I doubt there's something in Hamlin's trials, but let's see. Nothing. Okay, let's travel to Castaway Cove. Seek fortune. Your by chests are now visible. Holy shit. He's just like the sparklies. <laughs> Not actual chests. Let me try. Oh. So, 
they are chests? Holy shit. Okay, I guess I should be flying. To, uh, oh, I missed Freya Ground. Okay, I knew I was missing something. <laughs> Let's go Freya Ground. There's better be a lot of hearts here. Not one? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is weird. It's no good, man. I ain't ever going to be good at the old comedy game. Reckon this thing I could do is I'll leave it all up. Hey, what's with you all of a sudden, man? Keep us mustard you were until five minutes ago. Something I'm uh, on the matter? You look kind of worried. You're too right I am. We're a comedy duo, see? Suddenly, my partner is at crime. He's talking about giving it all up, I ask you. You're drastic. Why the sudden change in heart, you? I don't know, I just... I ain't cut off for the stage, anyway. I'm just not funny enough. Says who? Funny as anything you are. Especially with me feeding you the setups. Sorry, man, I just can't. I just can't get the confidence for it no more. Confidence, of course. He's had every last bit of his strained out of him. Poor broken hearted boy. Uh, comedy gold. The Tahiti, comedy, uh, Tahiti comedian has lost his confidence in his material and is looking to take the stage as a result. Restore his confidence and get him back on stage. Right. We can't just leave him like this, Mr. Trippy. Let's help him. That's the spirit of boy. We best come up with some confidence then, eh? Uh, let's find that. Oh, wait. I don't have any more confidence. Oh, wait. Uh, Tombstone Trail. Maybe the casino? And while I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nothing. Talk to this guy. Nope, RIPs only. You know what? I'm gonna end episode here by uh, doing a whole bunch of gambling. <laughs> Alright. So I did look up more of this online, and I was kind of right in my guess. Uh, but there's a this game is like kind of broken, so like the AI will put everything in the same spot. card on the, the number cards on the right and all the good stuff on the left so as long as I put like all the kings on the right all the shitty cards on the left I could focus on that but I was kind of right guessing this uh, last time but yeah I'm gonna just fast forward or fast forward for this Uh oh. Okay, let's 
one. Oh no, I might lose this one. Uh oh, I lost. <laughs> of course I lost after uh, saying all that stuff. <laughs> Let's try it again. Uh, that was also a really bad hand too. So I guess it's not perfect. I can't 100% win this. Oh no, this sucks. Please take the one. Please take the one. Oh, are you kidding me? I should have picked the other one. Damn. Are you kidding me? Damn it. Wait, no, that's a great. I forgot it switches. Oh jeez, I lost my money again. I need to I need to know the rules better. <laughs> Try it again. Oh my god, I keep getting shitty hands. Oh my god, this is horrible. I'm gonna risk this. Assuming I go first. No, I do not go first. No. Okay, that's fine. This one. Oh, I lost. Anyway, damn. This is hard. Even after cheating. <laughs> One more, one more. I have time. Yay, finally I have something. It's a really bad hand can ruin the game. <laughs> oh man. I wanted that for the other one. She's supposed to get it wrong. If I get the blue. Okay, that's even better then. Oh, so if it's right. She lo I lose money. Oh no. <laughs> if that's a wizard, then I win. Rubbish. Somehow I won. Please have a wizard. Oh, thank you. Let's go. One more.
Oh, did I lose all my stuff? I lost. Fuck. <laughs> <sighs> lost all that. All my prizes. the case then this should win. Okay. This better not be They didn't have any face cards, okay. I shouldn't have lost anything. <laughs> Thank you. Why would you do that? <laughs> that was a throw, 100%. Oh, doesn't let me keep going. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> Wait, no. Let me get some rewards. Claim prizes. So, I'll take this. Buster Blade. Raising stakes. Awarded for collecting your first prize at the casino. Wait, I could buy multiple of these? Holy shit. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Everyone gets a buster plate. <laughs> Idler? 
I don't have enough chips. Increases movement speed. That's insane. <laughs> I'm giving that to Oliver. Uh, actually, I'll give him one to each of them. Uh, Oliver. Tin Man. I'm gonna go gamble one more time. What? Oh, I can only put. Oh shit! I can only hope he has a wizard or a king. Don't be a king. Okay. This is not a king. I win. Wait. Maybe. Okay. Oh, 82,000. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's all I needed, but I could risk it.
please let me go first. Oh. That's exactly what I needed. <laughs> That's what I was gonna do my first turn. <laughs> Perfect. Uh. this <laughs> oh this is decent no no this is bad <laughs> Then, good evening. Yes. <laughs> that was a good risk. Welcome. No king. Thank you. And I win. That was insane. Insane risk. <sighs> Holy shit! One point seven million. Alright guys, I think I'm done with that. I don't need to pay. Let's grab this. No. I could just... <laughs> I could just get a whole bunch of these shit. <laughs> I could just sell these too. <laughs> I think I'm done with money now. In case I need these for some recipe. Are these ingredients? No. Let's grab five of these. Alright. <laughs> uh, so we're rich now. Next time I'm gonna continue the side quests and probably do one of those uh, heart things. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya, bye!